Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful Mother's Day gift. It is a pot that I decoupaged with fabric. So the things you're going to need are some fabric, a terracotta pot, Mod Podge, a clear sealer spray, a paintbrush, and some scissors. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut out a nice piece of fabric that will cover your pot completely. You're going to want to give yourself a little bit more because just in case you go to put it on the pot, you want to make sure that you have enough. I'd rather cut off a bunch than not have enough. So once you have your fabric cut out and you made sure that it's going to cover the pot, then you're going to get your Mod Podge and start lathering it on. So I like to work in small sections, so I about three or four inches. I'm going to put a nice generous coat and then stick my fabric on. And then I'm just rubbing it and making sure that the fabric goes into all the creases and the Mod Podge gets nice and secured to the fabric. If that, yeah. And then I'm just going to work my way around the pot, massaging the pot and making sure that it gets everywhere and all over and everything. And then when I come to the edges of the fabric, I want to put a good amount of Mod Podge to make sure that I have that securely stuck down and there's no frays or threads hanging off of it. And then I'm going to cut a straight line down the fabric and that's going to be my seam that will hopefully be behind the pot so that no one can see it. And you're going to put a generous amount on the seam so that you don't see it and it's nice and stuck down. As I'm putting the Mod Podge on the pot, if I do have excess Mod Podge, I am spreading it out on the rest of the pot just because I do want to have a thin coat of Mod Podge on the outside as well as on the inside. And then that's going to fully secure it. You could leave it with just Mod Podge if you wanted to. Um, I've been told that it would be a little bit tacky possibly when you go to touch it. So if you have a clear sealer, that would be recommended, especially if the pot is outside. Um, if not, then I don't think it would be a huge deal. I mean, how many times are you going to be touching the pot, really? So, you know, that's really up to you. I just had sealer on hand and it actually was a glitter sealer so I thought well you know glitter is always better in my opinion so you know what the hell so I cut off the excess of the bottom and I'm cutting off the excess of the top and of course I'm just you know lathering on the Mod Podge and sticking it down and trying to get the bottom as flat as possible so that there's no bumps underneath and you want your pot to be able to stand and not be rocky, you know, from like a big lump on the bottom or something like that. So the top is a little bit different. You're going to cut little slits all along the fabric and then that will help it lay flat on the inside of the pot. And then you're basically just tucking in one tab at a time. And if you do it nice and neat and cut it in a perfect like you know, one inch left around, then it will look very nice and neat on the inside. And then hopefully when you put your dirt or your soil into the pot, then you will, you know, bring it up a little bit past that fabric so you won't even see the pot at all. still as I'm going along you know if I have excess extra Mod Podge or whatever I'm just going to completely coat 
make sure that you know it's all over the outside of the pot as well. And then after that, then I'm going to seal it with my sealer. And um, of course, the sealer is an aerosol can, and it is quite smell so. I would recommend doing that outside. And I just did one coat of sealer. And then that's pretty much it. So I hope that you liked this tutorial and if you did, I would love if you could give me a thumbs up and comment if you have any questions. Um, please subscribe, I love putting out tutorials every so often like to be doing more often but you know when you have kids you can't always but anyways so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye